So uh, hypertension and high blood pressure are really synonymous. It's a phenomenon when the blood pressure is above normal. The normal blood pressure we say for adults is around 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury and values significantly elevated both uh, on the higher value and the lower value are when we talk about hypertension and when we get concerned. And really uh, any values more uh, than 140, we would be concerned about from the top and also values more than 90, you know, we'd definitely be concerned about. Anything in between 120 to 140 and between 80 to 90, you know, we, we are still concerned, it is abnormal and, you know, we would normally like to investigate that further. So hypertension is a phenomenon we see with aging, and it's also related often to a number of um, external risk factors. When we look at uh, typically your know, Western populations and diets and uh, daily stresses, we see that with age, blood pressure rises in both men and women. And this is due to a stiffening of the arteries in the body. So the blood has to pump out against uh, stiffer arteries, and this causes more pressure to be generated and the blood pressure goes up. There are a number of uh, external factors as well that can influence the blood pressure. So being overweight, uh, increased salt in the diet, uh, smoking, lack of exercise, stress, all of these can also influence the blood pressure in a detrimental way and increase the blood pressure. So there are some foods which can cause the blood pressure to go up. Some of them can cause the blood pressure to go up acutely, and some of them can cause the blood pressure to go up in the long run. The most important of uh, the, the foods is not necessarily a food itself, but an ingredient, which is salt. So the more salt there is in the diet, the uh, higher the blood pressure will go. And this is over time. This is not going to happen you know, immediately. This is a long-term process. So we always recommend that when you're cooking, try and put as less salt as possible or don't put extra salt. And also when you're, you're eating, you know, not to you know, put extra salt for flavoring because this in the long term can definitely get the blood pressure up. Uh, in the acute setting, there are certain foods that can cause the, the blood pressure to rise transiently. And they're often um, you know, caffeine containing uh, things like coffee and uh, you know, caffeinated drinks. But again, the blood pressure rise with these agents is normally much more of a sudden uh, phenomenon rather than a chronic long-term process. So stress in the long run, chronic stress can definitely cause the blood pressure to, to go up. Uh, that's often a bit more of a long-term phenomenon. Uh, the acute stressful situation can cause the blood pressure to go up uh, there and then. So any um, worries, any stress, any frights, any bad news, uh, unfortunately, all of these can cause the, the blood pressure to go up but that should normally then settle down with time. However, chronic stress, uh, that could be work stress, it could be you know, family stress, uh, non-work stress, all of these in the long run you know, do cause a lot of different uh, hormonal surges and activation of different uh, neurohormonal pathways, all of which can result in an increase in blood pressure. So one of the biggest problems with high blood pressure is that it doesn't neatly fit into having symptoms that can directly be attributed to high blood pressure. So if you have a problem with um, your, your blood supply in the heart, uh, you can get pain in the chest. If you have a problem with the heart function or heart failure, you can be short of breath. With hypertension, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work like that. And uh, that's often why many people are undiagnosed with high blood pressure and high blood pressure sometimes can just be diagnosed because of a uh, you know, chance visit to the GP or the chance visit to the doctor and they check your blood pressure and the blood pressure is high. If the blood pressure is very high, then you may get symptoms and that can be uh, a headache, you may get blurred vision, you may get uh, a general sense of unease or discomfort. 
but these are usually quite uncommon and normally the blood pressure would need to be quite high and um, it would uh, need to happen relatively quickly for, for these symptoms to, to occur, which is uh, you know, often a reason that we say that uh, with age, as I mentioned, the blood pressure does rise. So you, you can measure your blood pressure at home you know, once a month or so just to make sure that the blood pressure is within normal limits you know, if you have concerns. So hypertension can definitely be a serious condition. If it is untreated, it can cause damage to the different organs that the heart supplies blood to. So the heart supplies blood to the kidneys, for example, and if the uh, blood pressure is elevated, there can be damage to the kidneys. Uh, high blood pressure can cause an increased risk of stroke. It can cause an increased risk of heart attack. So there are some uh, you know, significant complications that can occur with elevated blood pressure. Usually they, uh, what, what, uh, these, these complications would occur if the blood pressure is elevated for prolonged periods of time, which is why it's important that uh, if the blood pressure is elevated, good control is achieved. The better the control of blood pressure, the less likely it is to have any of the complications. So it may not necessarily be a good idea to bring the blood pressure down very quickly, uh, especially if the blood pressure is you know, chronically elevated or if the blood pressure has uh, you know, suddenly gone up. If you bring the blood pressure down too quickly, that also could have um, consequences. Uh, the main aim really should be to try and prevent the blood pressure rising in the first place. But if the blood pressure is significantly elevated, you should uh, try and remain as calm as possible, uh, relax, uh, you know, try and take some deep breaths, sit down, try and remove all stresses. And often what you can find is when the blood pressure is rechecked, maybe five minutes later, and then rechecked again five minutes after that, the blood pressure settles down itself. When people are, are stressed or when people are rushing, um, the blood pressure often rises, but when they are in restful, peaceful environments, the blood pressure can uh, come settle down. <laughs> 